um, we are going to look at making a, a fully uh, like this, a diagram, and we're going to look at making these three po and some po around the outside, but maybe not quite as many as this. Um, we're going to design in 3D and then 3D print some parts and laser cut some parts. Now the big po here, to save us on heaps and heaps of time and to make it look a bit nicer, we can buy Dell, um, and it's, it's relatively cheap, so we'll buy some sections of this, and then we'll, we'll use that to plug into our model. Okay, so what we'll first do is we'll actually design that dial in 3D anyway. So we're going to start with these three po, and we're going to use Fusion 360 um, here. So to move around my screen, I can use two fingers on my mouse pad, or I can hold shift with my two fingers, and I can rotate in 3D. And you'll get the hang of that. It'll take a little bit of practice. But the first thing we're going to do is draw a sketch. And we're going to put our sketch on the bottom here on the floor. So we'll click on that piece, and it's going to give us a bird's eye view. Now, I'm just going to use a center circle diameter, and if I go back to here, uh, Bunnings, I'm going to use for my big dowel, uh, big, big po, I might go for the 12 mil, and my little ones, I'll do the 6 mil. So we'll go back to here, and I'm just going to draw a circle, and I'm going to write 12, and that's going to give me a 12 mil circle, which is perfect. Now I'll go across. And I will do another circle, that's 12, and press enter. And I'll do one more circle over here, 12, and press enter on that. Cool, so we've got three circles. I just want to make sure that there's even distances between each other, just so um, the PO is nice and tidy. So I'm just going to press D for distance, click the center of that circle, and the center of that circle. So that one there is 20 mil, that's cool. And then I'm going to select the center of the circle and the center of the circle, and that's also 20 mil. So if we'd made a mistake there, we could actually just write 20 now, and press enter, and it would move our circle for us. I'll show you if I go 15, press enter, it moves my circle. But I do want it at 20. So now they're nice and even. So I'll go finish sketch there, and we've got three po. I can rotate my screen, and they're just little sketches. Um, but nice and easy to make them in 3D, we can just click extrude here, Click on our three sketches and pull it up. Uh, what have we got? 80 mil. If we look back at our drawing, they're probably a bit higher than that. They go up right to the ceiling, don't they? Let's, for now, let's put them at 90 mil and then see how we go for the rest of it. So we'll click OK there. Now, if we <coughs> if we go back to there, we've got all these po around here as well. Now to add them in. Should be nice and easy. Let's go uh, back to that. If we go to our history here, we can go back to our drawing and we can double click on it and it brings us all the way back in time. Now I'm just going to get a little circle and follow it down from the center. Let's just click here for now. And if I go to my Bunnings website, I can look and I'm using 6mm dowel. So this time I'm just going to press 6 and it's going to give me a circle that's 6. Now, it would be a real mission to draw circles all the way around here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go Create, Circular Pattern, click on my object, which is there, click on my center point, and that's going to be the center of my circle, and see it's rotated one, two, three circles. Now, we want a few more than that um, for our building, so that's really nice and easy. I can just change this number here to say, say we want 12 around our folly. And if I click OK there, I've got cir circles of dowel right around the big circle. I'll go finish sketch on that. Now, you'll see that it's actually disappeared. But if we go back to this, oh, if we go over to our sketches here, and click on the arrow, and then click on the eyeball there, it'll bring our circles back. So we need to bring these up, and we'll just do that with another extrude. So we'll do extrude here, and this one's a bit of a pain. I do have to select all of my circles. Make it there. Cool. Now, go to my drawing. They don't go up anywhere near. They don't even go up halfway. So let's just bring them up to about there. Uh, and we'll just guess this for now. We can always change things later. Let's bring them up to... Let's 
say that's going to be our roof part. Cool. So we've made the bits of dowel that are going to go around our folly. Um, what I have noticed is they're probably a little bit tight around this big pile. So if we go all the way back to our history here, I might actually just grab this one and I might move it down. And you see all of the bits are going to change with it. So I'm just going to lean them out a little bit more and the circle changes with it. And if I go finish skits, it's actually updated everything for me as well. So we're still good to go. Um, the next step is to put the roof on it. For Now let's start with the floor. Let's put the floor on it here, okay? So I'm going to do another sketch. Uh, this time I'm going to create a sketch. Oh, sorry, cancel. Create a sketch on the bottom here. Okay, this time I'm going to go create a rectangle and I'm going to go a center point rectangle. And we're going to just design a bit of a floor here. Just click on the center, out, um, and make sure I cover all my edges. And that's what my rectangle will look like, okay? So I finish sketch on that and extrude this. Uh, we're going to make this part out of some wood and laser cut it. So we'll make it three millimeter wood. And see how it's wanting to, it's gone a bit red and it wants to cut over things. I can just change that to new body. And then click OK. And now we've got a bit of a floor with our pose sticking into it. Now I thought what was quite cool is the there's some steps around the folly. And we can build those steps really easy by layering our laser cut bits of wood. So let's put another step underneath. This will be a real easy technique. We just do another sketch. I'm going to click on the bottom of this. And we're going to go create center point rectangle again. Click on the center. And then we're just going to come out a little bit further with this next one and go finish sketch. Nice and easy. Click extrude and pull. We have to click the outside edge and this inside bit. And let's pull it down 3mm again. And we've got um, some steps up to our folly. Now, it's just Poe at the moment um, on our steps. We need to add a roof, which might be a bit, bit trickier. Now, what I've noticed is I think these Poe, even though in the drawing they're really, really high, but in our drawing we can actually see through the roof, and we're not going to be able to see that stuff. So what we'll do is we'll actually bring them back down, and we'll just plug them into our roof once we've designed it. So to bring them back down, I'm going to go back into my history, and find out by clicking on these extrudes which one to use. And it's I found that one because these go blue. So I'll double click that, try it again. Can be a bit of a pain sometimes. And I'm just going to bring them back down to let's say 65. Cool. I think we'll stick with that for now. Um, okay. So our next step, just having a bit of think here, is I might draw a sketch on the top of this middle pole, and we're going to use this to build our roof from. So I click there, and we're going to start our roof. We're going to make a, we'll make a circular roof for this, because we've got a circular shape for our pole. So if we go, we'll just click a center diameter circle again, and do it in the center, and bring it all the way out here. And we're just going to overhang those last pole by a little bit. We could go even with that last step, maybe. So around there. And we'll finish sketch on that. And we've got a circle that's hovering over there. Now to make this a roof, we are going to extrude this up. Oh, and we've missed the circle the center bit, but we can actually click on that and it'll add our center bit too. And I actually might change this to both sides. And even though it goes up, I might bring it down. Now when I go down, it's going to go into cut mode, but let's just change that back to new body. And now this looks a bit funny, so I'm going to actually bring the top of the roof down, maybe there. Remember we can always come back and change this later. So I'll click OK here, and make sure it's on new body, I'll click OK, and then we've got like uh, not a very good design so far, but let's see if we can fix that.
simple tool here, fill it, let's click on that, and we click on the edge, and we can move this around and kind of change it to what we think looks nice. So if I click OK when I'm happy, I have uh, my fellow design. Uh, and we could change things out and we could actually do a different kind of roof style. This one's quite a round one, but by looking at a lot of pictures, some are rounded edges, but long rectangular things. So we could change things, that's another round one, uh, to suit your design. But, but for now, we might have kind of got something that suits us. Um, in fact, I might go back a little bit and I might give it some little sh straighter edges down there. I think it might look a bit nicer and a little flatter roof. Now, our po, our small po don't stick into our roof at all, but we kind of want them to stick in. We want them to come up to here so that when we, when we put them in, it'll help hold the roof on, just like in real life. So we find uh, in our history, we'll find where we did those small po, and I found it there, I clicked on that one and they've gone blue. So now if I double click on it, let's just bring them up say 40. So we're going to bring them up 5 more millimetres and that'll go into our body now. Now if I click on one, you can see it's actually going to go inside, and if I click on a big one, you can see that also goes inside. So, we're pretty good. Um, if we have a look, at our hoe though, if we make them invisible, we can't see holes in there. That's a real easy fix. We can go combine, click on this, and our tool becomes this, and see how it's gone red and it's cutting holes in there. That's perfect. If it doesn't come up like that, you need to change it from join to cut. And then I'm going to click keep tools and it's going to let me keep these bottles here. So click OK on that. Now when I hide the bottom parts, we've got holes in our roof so that when we make, um, when we laser cut these places out, put our dowel in, we can poke them into these holes and things all fit perfectly.